Welcome back to Meshman Studios introduction to Mari. And in today's episode, we're going to continue with the layer workflows. So the first thing I'm going to do here is create a few channels. So I'm going to say red mask and make it scalar data. The next thing here, I'm going to take this paint that I've imported in my base color. And I'm going to paste it into my, my mask here. And you can see here instantly it becomes very dark. And that is because my mask is scalar data. I'm just gonna now here, it's gonna be evident what I'm doing here very, pretty soon. I'm gonna essentially key out a mask to drive my materials. So what I'm gonna do here is an insert here. We hit in tab and say color to scalar, like so. Now we can see the, the colors here as uh, essentially scalar values. And now I'm gonna start to key out here. For example here, let's say that we wanna create this mask here for, for the red. So I'm going to say here, color to mask. And basically the first thing that happens here, we get nothing. And that is because we need to key a color. So the easiest way to do this here is just to take down the essentially the, the opacity here and go to this one, the, the, the color here. I'm going to set this to scalar. Now I'm going to start to key the color here. I'm picking raw pixels. I'm just going to take this color here and we can see here we have the color. And if I now turn this up here again, we can see here, we're starting to essentially uh, keying in out the color. And we can have there here the threshold and we can start to build the mask here. If I tune this down again, you can see here, we can start to see here, these colors here, we can start to see them as different values that is then contributing to this mask here. So now we want to essentially start to build this mask so it's more complete. We can use this to apply our material. So what I'm going to do here is essentially just group this one here. I'm going to group layers. So we have the first group and then I'm going to copy and paste this. So I have a second instance of this group, key different values and then combine these. So that's essentially what I'm going to do here. And now let's take a look at this one. This is essentially dirt that's living on top of these uh, and I might apply this in, in a different way. So I'm just gonna here try and key this one out here as well. I'm just gonna take that value and see here what we get and play with error tolerance to see if I can key this separately. I'm just concentrating on making essentially the, the material assignment group here. So if I now we can see here, we have this grouped and this one grouped. Now I can apply this top group here as, uh, like for example, like screen on top. And then I get the combined mask here of the two here. You can see here, if I go here and, and do this, now I'm essentially keying in those values that was essentially dirt uh, into this mask, okay? I'm just gonna take this base here and paste it on top as a reference here and I need this college scalar uh, on top again I'm gonna group these ones control G uh, so we have uh, like a reference layer this one is also uh, probably an inconsistent so let me see here if I turn this one off we can do this again, copy and paste. Uh, see here if I can target this one. So I need to go normal on this one. Okay, let's see here, green. Okay, so there we have something. And I'm, I'm just looking at the essentially the, the red values here. If I take this one back, I'm just gonna construct the mask here. I'm not bothered by these yet because I'm gonna do this for individual zones here. I'm gonna take the red. This one has a slightly different uh, value here. This one, this one, and this one. So we get like one, two, three, four, five different mask channels that I'm gonna then drive my material assignments with. And what I'm gonna do here now, so these, essentially these three here is gonna be the combined uh, material assignment. What I can do here is essentially create a paint layer on top and now start to take away what I don't want to mess with here. So say that it's going to essentially flood fill these regions here with, with pure black. 
Uh, so I'm just going to drag the black into the faces there. So we get just this. So I'm uh, patch uh, face selecting now here onto this one. And if you don't know how to do selections, I made a tutorial about that as well in the beginning of this course. And now I'm just going to like this. So, okay. So now we have here essentially except this one here. And that's the, the different type of welds. Now we have a basic mask to assign essentially the red material. Obviously, I can go in here and work on this one. I can also go in here and either start to you can start to essentially paint or add or or uh, remove here, for example. If I want to do that, I can go in with a hard surface, maybe further work on uh, on this. If I want to do some painted additions on, onto this, for example, like so. I'm going to quickly create the other mask and we can look at, at them individually and then we continue. Okay, so let's take a look here now what I did. So we have the mask green here, mask orange, mask turquoise, red and yellow. So what I did here is essentially key out them all here. Let's take a look at one of them here. You can see here I have a, a bunch of different groups. If I disable them here one at a time, you can see here I keyed out as this one was was the one that has most inconsistencies. I had to key it in different stages and merge them and take different parts here uh, to build up the final result. And this one essentially takes away. And, and then I did some, I have an extra layer here where I started to paint in areas that I, for example, want or doesn't want in, in my mask here. That makes sense. Same here with same workflow with, with all of them, depending on, on the how much inconsistency I might uh, do more more or less of this, essentially grouping the uh, and keying. Okay, so next up here, we're gonna take a look here at how we can use the materials with this layer methods. So I already created masks. So my intention here is to create a few different materials and mask them out here. So I'm gonna use this. This one is probably the most appropriate the, the green material here. I'm just gonna drag it on here to layer stack. So essentially what happens here, we get this shade icon here and, and all of looked at this in a previous episode, essentially applies it, this material on top of all of the streams. So if I go here to my bump and, and go and inspect the channel on its own, we can see here, if I look at it, we, we get the bump here, we have a roughness and speckle values. And they're all coming from the material. So if I mask this uh, shader icon here, I'm gonna mask all inputs at the same time. So now we essentially can here start to build up our uh, materials using layers. So first off here, we wanna apply, for example, the turquoise uh, mask here. What I do here is to insert a mask group here that will group the, them all here. So let's do that first. And we can hit this uh, select the material and hit the group button here down and it will create group because I, I might want to add stuff inside of this group or blend multiple materials. So I'm just going to see here turquoise material. And now I want to insert a uh, mask stack like so onto this group here. And I'm just going to take my uh, turquoise mask that I already prepared. I'm just going to go into this one, take a look here and see what we need to do. So, yeah, uh, I don't want to have all of the layers here. So I have these channels where I have my mask operations in a separate channel. And what I do here is essentially copy, paste, so I got get a duplicate and then I flatten layer group here this operation, flatten layer group. And this will now create a paint node out of this that I then will copy into my location because yeah, I don't want to have all this life in, in each material. Now, 
let's copy this go into my base color for example here jump into the mask stack we can put it there and now paste it in and we can see here essentially apply now this material that is now green so we need to fix the color so we can do it that by either going into the material itself for example and see if we can get like a hue shift onto this one like so it's a bit toxic there and let's see here i'm inserting a paint node on top of the mask here temporarily just to essentially paint out a few areas here where i want to inspect the color so i can essentially gray this color somewhat in the same color as the underlying base paint here uh, so let's see here and now we can obviously go in here and say repeat how much we want to repeat this pattern for example maybe like so so there we have the turquoise material now we can do the rest of them in similar fashion so we can independently have different type of material properties I'm just gonna drag this in here and put it on top like so i'm gonna group it by doing the same operation i did before like going here and group and now i have a multi-channel material group and let's take the mask red same operation here I'm just gonna flatten layer group and paste it into my mask stack so copy there we go i'm just gonna temporarily do this so i can gray this material or so what we can do here we can do another way we can insert a only in this base color we could insert a color or even a cloud so override like so and now instead of having essentially the the color here from the cloud we can now start to grade in some colors from from this one the underlying material that we see there uh, however now i'm essentially replacing everything so what i can do here is do a uh, essentially try different uh, blending modes here so let's say let's say color instead of component there do that and i'm just gonna now go in here and and go to the underlying material and just raise the values a bit so we get somewhat close to the original there i'm just gonna remove my uh, temporarily paint on top there now here let's take a look in shading and with the shader so principal beard if yeah so now we have material on top of of this one and that one uh this and these two uh we, we need to do the same so i'm just gonna apply these materials and then we can have a quick look together Okay, so let's take a look here. So yeah, in the same fashion uh, as before, I applied these additional materials and I use similar methods. So I use the cloud there, for example, for the yellow here, because if I disable it, we can see that I get some nasty U-shift artifacts because this one, when it swivels around from, from green to yellow, you get some nasty values. So essentially I just graded it down and used a cloud here as well, uh, just to give this the look there and a tip here if you have a, a lay mask and you want to see the complete material you can disable the mask by shift clicking on the lay stack a mask here uh, and and then you see the whole material so you can inspect it there as well yeah so that's kind of it and let's see here if i disable this uh, base here we can see here this is essentially um, the materials i need to work on next so in the next episode i'm gonna work on integrating the the rust and also a, uh, a pass of integrating dirt and patching some of these seams we can see here. Uh, so that, that's for the next episode. Okay, see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.